Hey there, Steve here. Hope you're doing well. If you're new to the channel, then welcome. In this video, I answer one of the most important questions you probably have thought of. What's the most Midwest emo sounding chord in standard tuning? This video I was inspired by Rob Scallon. I was watching a video where he changes one chord into 1003 chords. I, do, I think that was the number anyway. And uh, here's what he had to say uh, about a particular chord. I could live in this sound for the rest of my life. Like this to me just sounds like real beauty, you know? Like a major chord is like a perfect sunset that was photoshopped. And this is like, I don't know, just real. Like a person you love, but they have flaws. Am I going too much into this? And while I'm no expert on the style of Midwest Emo, I do know quite a few chords that sound very much that style. So let's take a look at a few of those today. So if we start with Rob's chord, this uh, E major seven style chord. So sticking on the theme of this E major kind of sound, one of the first songs that really hit me and I had to learn uh, that was really that kind of Midwest emo style was a song called Never Will Come For Us by the band Braid. And it's a similar style chord, but sounds absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I've always found that chord like really spoke to me and it's very, that epitomizes that Midwest emo feel to me. Especially when we drop down to the E flat here. And another chord that really speaks to me that has that kind of Midwest emo feel is a, a minor seven chord, which sounds like this. But I like using the shell voicing. Just the three notes like that. And I first learnt this chord in a song by the Get Up Kids. And it's off a release from a long time ago called Four Minute Mile. And it's a song called Don't Hate Me. So again, it's already very emo. <laughs> it sounds like this. <laughs> I've used this chord so many times and if you go back to the theme of combining it with these open strings with the B and the E string you can make some beautiful sounding chords and this is one of my own ideas there's a song called Persimmon it's um, just a section from that Sorry, I got a bit carried away there. I was only supposed to play a little bit of that, but you saw there, there was like a billion chords that you could use that have that kind of Midwest emo feel sound to them. But that was all inspired from that, uh, that minor seven chord with the open strings there. And then all of the ideas that followed it came from that. And another chord that sounds really Midwest emo sounding to me um, is a major nine chord. So if you play like a D major nine here, You could play it as an E major 9. Have the low E in there as well. And if you bring it down to the lower registers, so if you play it as an A major 9 here, I feel like it has more of like a, you know, darkness to it, a sadness. It sounds really nice. And this, this chord inspired me to write this riff. And 
that's from a song called Restarts, and I'll throw a link for that down below if you want to hear that in context as a full song. And so as you can probably tell, I'm starting to run out of ideas. I don't know too many Midwest emo bands, but I'm heavily influenced by the style. And that leads me back to a story while I was, I was talking to my friend Joe over Discord. Um, we were having a guitar lesson together, and uh, well, it usually just ends up being a chat between the two of us. And uh, he's actually from the Midwest, and he's heavily into the style as well as like post hardcore and stuff. So I, I said I'm making this video and he pitched a few chords. So I, I, there's two chords I took away from that chat we had that I thought sounded really, just really that Midwest kind of sound. So I'm gonna show you these chords and I'm gonna refer to them as Joe chords. So here's Joe chord one. <laughs> As soon as he showed me that chord, I was like, it just sounds straight up Midwest emo, right? And you can combine it with like these pull-offs. Just a beautiful sounding chord. And then we have Joe chord two. A bit less Midwest emo sounding, but if you can combine the two, so that for example, You can see you can already come up with some like Midwest emo style ideas just using those two chords. All right, so I could go on for ages about this topic, so I'm gonna leave it there for now. Uh, I hope there's a lot of chords there that sound very Midwest emo. I'm not sure which one of them sounds the most Midwest emo, so if you could let me know down below which one was your favorite, which one you think really like resonated as the feeling, the epit if we had to embody Midwest emo, which chord would it be? If we were wearing a Midwest emo chord costume, <laughs> what, what would be on the front? So if you could let me know, down below in the comments and um, I stuck to standard tuning for this one because as you know so many bands use different tunings as well so uh, perhaps I'll do another video about this in a different tuning as well so if you could let me know uh, if there's a particular tuning probably like F A C G C E or D A E A C sharp E something like that I think. As always I want to say thank you very much for taking the time to watch these videos I want to say thank you very much to all those that are supporting this channel and a thank you very much an extra special extra special or ultimate thank you to the Patreons that are supporting this channel. If you are interested in support, supporting the channel, there's a number of ways you can do that, which I've put down below in the description. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again in the next one. Okay, goodbye.